going to do a quick illustration on how to use one of these Amazon battery chargers. These things are pretty popular. I've been using them in some variation for about 10 years now. You can still buy them. They're all pretty much the same. They all do the same thing and have really similar menus. Uh, these will charge anything from lifeboats to nickel metal batteries and so on. So what you're going to need to do is if yours didn't come with a power supply, you're going to have to buy one. Um, and it should say on um, your paperwork or somewhere in the box what size power supply you need. This one came from a laptop. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to the first menu that you see here. It says program select. And we'll just push this button. First we'll do, uh, we'll do a LiPo battery. There we go. So LiPo battery. Now you need to know a little bit about the battery you're charging. It's going to have a balance port. Mine is a two cell, so it's going to go in the smallest section over here. And my batteries have Dean's connectors, so we're going to connect them on there. Your battery charger should come with a couple different types of connectors, so you can make whatever you want. I've made custom connectors for some of my son's uh, small truck batteries, uh, as you can see here. So. Okay, once we selected LiPo, we're going to go ahead and uh, change some of our settings inside here. This is, says LiPo charge, but you can also do a balance, uh, fast charge, storage, and discharge. Uh, we're going to do just a regular charge. So we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to change our amperage. We're going to set this one to 5.2 amps. Divide your milliamp hour rating by 1,000. That's going to tell you how many amps to charge at. We'll hit select again or enter, and then we need to go to 11, um, no, so there we go, 7.4 volts for a 2S. After we have that selected, we'll hold down the enter button. It's going to check the battery, make sure it doesn't have low voltage or anything like that, and make sure your balance port is hooked up. Then you're going to confirm, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you're going to have your voltage over here and your charge time. And this thing's going to charge up until it's done. It'll make a little sound at the very end. Now we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to do a nickel metal battery. Very similar process. I'm going to hook up my little adapter that I made here. All right. Now we're going to go find nickel metal. Hit enter. Uh, charge current 0.6 amps. This is 600 milliamp hour battery, so 0.6 amps. Hold it down to confirm, and then it's going to start charging. So that's pretty much it. Um, the manual in these things can kind of be a little bit iffy, but with those basic instructions, you can do pretty much everything that you need to. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching.